We always keep it in the same location. It's in the town of Patterson, New York, which is in Putnam County. So we're centrally located. Oh, we even have a, a railroad station that's right across the street from the show. So we have folks that come up from Manhattan. They don't have to drive. They take the train up, they buy their stuff. They get back on the train and take it home. So it's really easy to get to. And the venue, it's it's our, um, what we call our recreation center. And it's a, a nice, big venue, one big open room um, that holds 140 eight-foot tables and sometimes a little bit more. Well, we have it twice a year. It's April and October, and it's always the third Saturday. When other shows are diminishing, we continue to draw people from a wider geographical area. This is a military show and I want to keep it as pure as I can. The idea was that it would be a venue that all these guys could come into and trade and sell and buy between themselves. They all knew each other, but it was an excuse to get them all together. And, and that was it. That's what the spark was. And all of a sudden it took off and it went from 50 tables to 140 tables. Going around, you know, I try to walk around the show and I'm constantly stopped to answer a question. So now what I do is I sit in one place and then everybody comes to me. When they come to our show, these young people, they are interested in learning and the fact that they can come and actually put a helmet on or wear a jacket or see how heavy a flak vest is, it brings that interest to the surface. And then through my people, this is at my show, I instruct all my vendors, Kid, buy something. Tell them about it. You know, because the knowledge that I have, my daughter has, the guys that sell the stuff have, now it's passed on. So as far as our show is concerned, it will go on. It will live on. When I'm gone, my daughter will do it. And uh, it's, the show has become a part of the community. It brings a lot of people together. And... Uh, it just clicks.